Hello everyone. We've just got um, about five more minutes till we get started. I just thought I would start the uh, the live stream with plenty of time for everyone to get to find the link and get situated. So, um, you know, hang out for five minutes, do some stretching, fill your water bottles, put on your shoes. That's what I'm going to be doing for the next five minutes. All right, just a couple more minutes. Fun fact, this is the oldest uni I currently own. It's not the oldest uni I've ever owned, but it's the oldest one still going. This uni suit is from the 2003 World Championships. My teammates and I were in a four, and we won. Two more minutes. I'll, uh, I'll explain the workout in detail uh, in just a couple minutes when we officially start. Um, but just to give you a, li a little preview, it's going to be three by 15 minutes. Um, a little bit of drills, a little bit of steady, some builders. One more minute. Got a little sunburn this morning. I went out for a row. Gorgeous day. I wore sunscreen, but I got burned. Wear sunscreen, very important. 30 seconds. You can probably hear my fan uh, over here. It is quite warm in here today, but hopefully the fan will make it bearable. All right. It is four o'clock on a Friday. Today's Friday. It's four o'clock, 4 p.m. on a Friday. And I would like to welcome you to join me for a rowing machine workout. My name is Karin. I'm a two-time Olympic gold medalist. And uh, I'm glad you can join me. Today's workout is going to be a medium length workout. It's going to be three by 15 minutes. It's going to be some technique, some steady state, some builders, but overall it's supposed to be an aerobic workout, not supposed to be a max workout. Um, we're going to start with 15 minutes. We're going to do, we're going to build up, uh, do a pick drill to full slide, do a little bit of technique work. 
The next 15 minutes is going to be four minutes on, one minute off at 20. Uh, that's going to be steady state or LE if you read the, um, the zones in the description afterwards. And then the last 15 minutes is going to be builders. We're going to do 30 strokes on, 10 strokes off. We're going to start at stroke rate 20 and we're going to build up to stroke rate 26 and we're going to go back down to 20 or however far we get in 15 minutes. Um, we're going to set the monitors for 15 minutes on, two minutes off. Um, I'm going to do it feet out because I do that a lot. I'm not going to strap my feet into the footboards, but um, and I encourage you to try that. Uh, but if you're not comfortable uh, with your feet out, then feel free to strap your feet in. So let's get started. As always, we're going to start with setting the drag factor. If you don't know how to do that, there's a video on my channel. I recommend uh, around 115 to 120 drag factor for most people. All right, here we go. I'm gonna set the drag factor up on my machine. Yep, mine is 117, it's perfect. Got my heart rate monitor started. And now I'm going to set my monitor, as I said, for 15 minutes on and two minutes off. So, intervals of time. There we go. Rest time, two minutes. Check. All right. We're going to build with pick drill. So, arms only. Ready, row. Shoulders down, wrists flat. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you pull the handle towards you. Arms body in two. One, two. Really focus on sequencing here. Arms, body, body, arms. Feel your lats engage as you pick up the flywheel. Your lats is right here. Now we're going to add some legs. Quarter slide in two. One. Two. Make sure that your handle crosses your knees before your knees come up. If you don't do that, then you'll end up doing this, which is not good. If I did that on the water, my oars would hit the water and it would slow me down. Half slide in two, one, two, a little bit more slide here. Still think about the sequencing. Make sure off the catch that you're pushing your legs before you open your body, before your shoulders move relative to your hips. Quarter slide in two, one, two. Arms long. Really relax your shoulders, your biceps. Just hang your body weight off the handle. Full slide 
five and two. One. Two. At both sides, your shins should be perpendicular with the floor. Straight up and down. If you go further than that, that means you're over compressing. And when you do that, it puts your back in a weak position. Always got to protect your back when you're rowing. No back injuries. Pull in and up with your stomach at the finish. Use your core. Again, that protects your back. So we're at full slide here. We're at rate 18 strokes a minute. You should be steady state pressure, heart rate around 60 to 70% of max. stretcher. So one leg growing. Ready. Row. The point of this drill is to really feel your, feel your drive in your feet and in your glutes. If you've only got one leg, there's now going to be more pressure on that one foot board. One foot board. Just focus on what it feels like to press with that one leg, to squeeze the glute, and to try to get your weight a little bit off the seat. See if you can pull the same split that you were pulling with two legs. It's surprisingly possible. Your legs are stronger than you think. Take one more and wind up, and switch legs. Ready, row. If you're still strapping in, just join me when you can. No worries. Same thing, focus on the pressure on the footboard, feel your weight left off the seat, squeeze your glute. The foot that's on the floor should be doing nothing, just sitting there. Uneven, uneven drive of using one foot. Take one more. Right up. And back to both feet on. Ready. Row. So now, again, feel the weight of the feet on the footboards. Try to lift body weight off your seat by squeezing the glutes and hanging your body weight off the handle. And now, with two legs, focus on pressing equally with both of them. Sometimes we favor 
one leg or the other. See if you can use them equally. We're at 18 strokes a minute. This is good. Steady state pressure. Go another minute here, and then we're gonna do some legs only rowing. in this position, we're going to come up and take a stroke with just the legs. We'll row continuous, legs only. Ready, go. You can go nice and light here. Feel it out. We'll increase the pressure in a bit. For now, I want you to look down at your seat. Make sure that your seat and your handle always move together. That's how you'll know that you're keeping your upper body in the same position. If you're leaning back as you push, then your handle will move faster and it'll look like this. Or if you're shooting your slide, your seat will move faster and it'll look like this. Both of those are common errors. So, if you're seeing your hands moving together and your core nice and engaged, we'll just increase the pressure for 10 strokes. On this one, hang your body weight, feel the flywheel accelerate. It is a bit awkward at the finish, but that's okay. My legs are long enough that my seat is actually hitting the back of the of the rail. In two, we're gonna add the body, so it'll be the legs body, and we'll leave the arms straight and you can just paddle. That's one, two, nice and light, add the body. Arms stay straight. So, the first bit of the drive is exactly the same as when we were going legs only. Once the legs are almost done, then you add in the body. The body is not so much of a swing as an unfurl. And I'll show you the difference. A swing looks like this. See how I went kind of up and over? I'm unfurling my shoulders and head stay at about the same level, and my back just unwinds from a C-shape to more straight. Just like this. All right, let's take 10 strokes and increase the pressure here. 
Still with straight arms. Keeping your head at the same level. And two, I want you to add in the arms, so we'll go full strokes on the paddle. One, two, full strokes. Push with the legs, unfurl your back, and just let your arms follow through. No need to really pull with the arms. It's more of follow through and squeezing your shoulder blades. We'll finish off this 15 minutes with about 10 strokes, a little harder. Here. Same rate. Just increase pressure. Take two more. That's one. Why not? All right. First 15 minutes down, you should be breathing hard, but you know, just uh, just feeling like you did a good warm up. Got some good technique in. Should feel ready to. Uh, to increase the pressure even a little more in the next 15 minutes. We've got a minute and a half more of rest here. Make sure you get a drink, make sure you're hydrated, especially as it gets hotter in the summer. Gotta, gotta make sure you drink the water. I also recommend standing up and stretching your back. It's always good to give your back a little break from being in that bent over a rowing position. Whew. One more minute of rest. So as a reminder, this second 15 minutes is going to be four minutes on, one minute off. All of the intervals are going to be at a 20. So it's just gonna be uh, 20 strokes a minute, that is. It's just gonna be steady rowing. I'll, I'll make some technique calls just as reminders, but we won't do any drills. Um, that was a lie. We might do drills in the minute off, but we won't do any drills in the four minutes of steady rowing. All right. Got 20 seconds left of rest. Strap in <clears throat> or not. I'm leaving my feet out and just meet me on the paddle. In two, build to 20 strokes a minute. That's one. Two, build. Steady state pressure here. And we're on 20 strokes a minute. Just establish a good rhythm. that even press on the footboard that we were practicing. 
practicing after we did the one leg rowing. It should be about 70% of max here. 
somewhere between LE and LD. If you don't know what that is, no worries. I'll put it in the description at the end of the video. I say end, what I mean is below the video. Basically, it means breathing hard, staying within your aerobic zone. your stomach in and up, keeping your core strong. Row. Protect your spine. Row. By giving it that support on the front side. Row. Row. Shoulders down. Nice and relaxed. Row. One more pause, row. Pause here, row, continuous. Build to 20 on this one. This is our last four minute segment at 20. Stay strong. Pressing with the legs. Glutes. 
lift your body weight up a little bit by hanging it off the handle. minutes of this segment. Keep breathing. One more minute. Only here, ready, row, come forward, push the legs, and then follow through. Row, as you come away, arms, and then body. Row, really working on sequencing. Row, exaggerate the separation. Row, between the parts of the stroke. Row, legs, body, arms, arms, body, pause. Row, 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 one more pause. And that's it, 15 minutes. Whew. I'm a little bit more tired now. Definitely getting uh, getting heart rate up for good aerobic workout. We got two minutes of rest, and then uh, the last 15 minutes will be 30 strokes on, 10 strokes off. I'll call the on and off, of course, um, in a pyramid from 20 stroke rate 20, then 22, 24, 26, and back down 24, 22. 20. We may or may not get that last 30 strokes in depending on uh, how, how the time goes. But we'll just do that 30 on 10 off for the last 15 minutes. Got one more minute left of rest. Get a drink, stretch your back. Oh yeah. This is my second row of the day. I, uh, the lovely row on Cuba Lake in a single this morning. Went out on the lake, it was dead calm. 
Yeah, it was very nice. But anyway, I'm a little tired. Thirty more seconds of rest. Start to get ready, strap your feet in if you want, or leave them out. I'm going to leave them out of the straps. I'm working on uh, being able to row higher rates with my feet out. It gets harder as you get into the higher rates. 26 is about, it's about as much as I can do with my feet not strapped in. All right. Let's build 20 into one, two, 30 strokes at the 20. Nice solid press, maybe even a little faster than what you were doing a few minutes ago. down. Breathe. Time to go. about your technique on the paddle, stay disciplined with that sequencing. That's five, we got five more. In two, build to 22 strokes a minute, that's one. Build for 30 strokes. Long arms. Hang. That's 10. Chest up. Keep your lungs, give your lungs plenty of space. Wow. And two, build to 24. That's one. Two, build for 30 strokes. Yeah, the faster 
you're here. Working hard. That's 10 down. Accelerate. All right, coming up, we've got our 26. This is the highest rate we're going to get to today. Make it good. Make it long. Make it strong. Push it hard. In two. One. Two. Build to 26. technique here. Stay disciplined. Whew. All right. Coming back down. Next up is 24. Building two. One. Keep it strong. I know we're on the way back down, but keep the power up. press. Let your heart rate come down as much as possible while we paddle for 10. Good 
in two, build to 22. One. Two. Three minutes left. We might even have time for another two builders. Well, anyway, in two, builds 20. One, two, build. about a minute and a half left, which means we can do a little bonus builder. This one is going to be at an 18. These are low rate power strokes. Don't kill yourself, but nice firm press. In two, one, two, 18. Feel that wheel accelerate. Long arms. Horizontal. 
three more. And paddle. Nice. We are done. Good, uh, good 45 minute aerobic workouts and builders. Um, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sweaty, so I'm gonna do a little extra cool down. But um, if you are not in a very hot, sweaty place, um, I think you're probably okay. We didn't, we didn't do anything too crazy today requiring too much cool down. Um, yeah, check out some of the other videos on my channel. I've got some good hard workouts on there. I've got some good long workouts, also some shorter ones. Um, let me know if there's anything that you particularly would like to see on, on this channel. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.